Hey you guys, so today I'm sharing with you my favorites from the month of November. I don't know, <laughs> I have no idea what that was. Okay, I've had way too much coffee and I never, I don't drink coffee all that often. I just got the kitchen put back together and I have like my coffee machine out and I was like, let's make some coffee this morning. So it is Cyber Monday. So many sales, so many deals. But I feel like from pretty much Black Friday to now, to, I mean, pretty much all the time, I am like, online shopping is go. Like, that's, that's, I just, I love it. And I am so excited about the gift guide video that I'm putting together for you. You guys are going to flip. I've got the coolest gift guide video coming up. It's just so exciting. I'm actually... Like, I'm going to show you the real gifts that I've got for everybody, which I do a little bit every year, but I'm always a little hesitant. But I'm just really going to, like, threaten my family and just be like, do not watch this, anybody. Um, so I'm really excited about that coming up. What else is there? To so, okay, this month, so many cool things. I have so many amazing things. I have something that's not so good. I know that sometimes I don't always show, like, the flops or things that I'm not really loving. But if something is really weird, I want to ask you guys, too, about this particular thing. Like, if you guys have... And then there's something that I finally bit the bullet on, purchased it, and it wasn't all that I thought it would be, which I didn't really have, like, great expectations for it to begin with. But I've got kind of a little hack for you guys that might, you know, might save you some money. Yeah, it is something that I'm kind of like, ugh, it's, it's a little weird, so I mean, I'm, I'm definitely going to show you guys that. So, so obviously we're going to talk about beauty, we'll talk about like the flops and stuff at the end, um, a few like fashiony things, but I recently purchased some really cool things from Bobble Bar, and I'm dying to show you guys. Um, I'll post their sale info and everything below too. First, I wanted to show you guys this. This is so beautiful. This is a really weird top to have worn today to show you jewelry because I feel like now I can't really try it on. But speaking of this top, let's talk about this top really quick. So I ordered this a very long time ago from Nordstrom. When I actually opened it, I thought, oh no, that's too much of a weird holiday. So I'm not, I'm not, I'm gonna return that. And I had forgotten that it had these cool cutouts. And I thought, okay, well maybe I'll give it a try. And I thought maybe it's too hairy. It is so soft and like not um, scratchy at all. And this is super cool. I cannot wait. I'm going to wear this, I think, like on, um, for like Christmas dinner or something. But I just, I looked at it when I got it out of the pack and I thought, this is weird. Like I didn't like the material, but now that I'm wearing it, I really love it. And this is so not me to be like a holiday sweatery temper, but it's really not like, I thought it was going to look cheesy with the, um, sequins, especially since they're like everywhere, but it's just pretty. Can you see the sequins? They're like, like very subtle. I love it, and this makes it fun. So, I will link to this below. I love this sweater. It's like my new favorite. It's so soft. I'm not wearing anything under it other than like my bra and stuff, but it's just, oh, it's comfortable. So, it's not like an itchy sweater, which I thought it was going to be, but it's not. Okay, so let me show you these. Okay, this is one of those things I think is going to be like a favorite, favorite of mine. It's like a choker, but then it's like a lariat. I'll link to all these below. Oh, I'm not gonna be able to show you these, but you can kind of see, right? Isn't that pretty? So it's like a, you can imagine, so good. Um, I'll wear that in some upcoming videos. And then I grab these earrings. They look kind of like little, because I'm a very non, I don't know, I don't really do a lot of dangly earrings. I'm just kind of a stud earring kind of gal. Let me take these off. But I have been wearing, I, I wore these to Thanksgiving and loved them. They were comfortable all day. They're very like David Yurman-esque, but um, they're really pretty. I liked those and I never felt like it was too much all day, you know? I wore them with a big kind of like cozy sweater. That is really pretty. What do you guys think? Those are cool, right? They remind me almost of like a, um, oh my gosh, what's that called? Kendra Scott? Because they've got like the... That's really pretty, okay? really like those. Bobble Bar does really good lace chokers. They always do really good chokers. I kind of ran that mesh choker in the ground. I feel like I've been showing that a lot. This one is really pretty, and I normally do not like um, chokers with the ties on them because I feel like a cat, like wearing a bell, you know? I feel like kind of like a cat. See, so yeah, I'd have to kind of relax that, like just relax, you know? Just relax, Bo. That's really pretty too. And it's not like cheesy lace, it's like just really pretty kind of thick looking lace, you know what I mean? Um, oh, that's really cool. 
I cannot wait to wear that. I'm really excited about that. And then I grabbed this ring. You know my X ring that I loved for years from there? I mean, I still have it. Isn't that pretty with that too? This little piece right here above this, my love ring, this little piece right here above it is also from Bobble Bar and it looks like a piece of fine jewelry stacked with that. And look how pretty it looks with the X ring. So I have the X ring in, my nails look awful, don't, just pay no attention. I have the X ring in gold, but I really wanted it in silver, so. Okay, a lip combo that I have really been loving. Okay, so this is the liner that I've been using for a while now. I kind of just go in phases. You guys know, like, I'll just use Mac Whirl for months, and then I'll just use something else and whatever. And I kind of go back and recirculate things, but this has been, like, really, really good, and it's the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk, and you guys, you know, I've, I've told you guys about it before. It's just a very cool, you know, just basic, and that's what I did today. I just lined my lips with it, but I wore this color, which I really love. It's the Lancome Nuit and Jour, the night and day, and it's a really beautiful, um, their lipsticks are very smelly. They smell like the L'Oreal lipsticks. First of all, I love this little container. I love these that kind of pop out like that. It's so cute. You know, a lot of times when you do like a nude like that, it's too creamy, it's too matte, it looks too gross, you know, against your lip texture. This one's really nice because it's got a good payoff, but it's natural, it doesn't look like paint. But at the same time, like I said, it's got good payoff, but it's not like drying or anything. It's just beautiful. So I really love that. I really love the finish of these. These are the Labsolu Rouge. And it says sheer, but I don't think it is. So that is a perfect nude lip that I have been loving. Um, quickly, you know, I always kind of go over like what I've been wearing the most. My foundation really isn't different. I've been wearing the Clinique Acne Solutions. You can see it looks natural and pretty and I kind of showed you how I applied that in my um, recent foundation tutorial where I, guys, where I showed you guys, you know, a lot of tricks and stuff that I've been doing lately, which I will link below. But on my eyes, this is what I've been doing and it's not really different than what I've been showing you. I have been using eye pencils, eyeliner pencils, and these are those Estee Edits. And you can tell I've been using this one a lot because I've sharpened the heck out of this brown one, the Bold Bordeaux. And I use it every day. I just kind of run along my upper lash line. I don't tight line with these, although that's what they're kind of made for. Um, and then I kind of smudge it a little, and then right at my lash line, I'm just not careful with it. This literally takes less than like two seconds to do. I take my Clinique Pretty Easy Pen Liner, which, you guys, this thing is so smooth and so good. You can get the tiniest little hairline, or you can really build it up, which is just so beautiful. And I just lay it and just bloop, just get it real close, you know? And even if you don't have to work with it, you just, because it's kind of the liner's already around it. It's just darkening it right at the line. And I've been using the black one too. I've started to use the black. So um, that's kind of fun. Today I just did the brown. But it's so pretty and it's just such a nice effect without doing a big wing or anything. And um, it's just kind of my favorite way, I think, to wear eyeliner, because I like that smudginess, but I like it to be super black. Um, I'm still using these that you guys, I mean, I've shown you guys these a lot, these um, Lancome Miracle CC cushions. And when they came out, I got every single color. And the purple one was the first one that I really liked. Something that I think you can only get at Sephora. When I went on that trip, do you guys remember and this was way after I had talked about these, but I just don't think I talked about it much during that time because I felt like I would ran them in the ground. But you guys remember when Brad and I went to the casino and we went to the mountains, maybe like, was it in August or September? I don't remember, I think it was in August. And yeah, because it was freaking hot, I don't remember. Anyways, um, when we went to the casino, I remember we were, I was doing my makeup like as we were going because we drove in from the little town that we were staying in. And I was doing my makeup, we were meeting Brad's parents, you know. We had like the best day. And I was doing my makeup in the car, and when I first showed these, I showed you guys that what I do with it is I would do my makeup and then use these. These are meant to be used as color correcting primers, but that's not how I use them at all. Like, that's what it says. They're color correcting primers. Um, that's why they're so small. But I, this is what I showed you guys to do. I would put it right there in that area that I normally, you know, and it really made it bright. And I remember that day when I was there, you know, and I showed you guys the green one and the pink one. Um, the pink one's probably my second favorite. And my purple one is pretty much completely used up now. Uh, but I just wanted to show you guys because I need to buy a new one. But that day, I got so many questions. I didn't put any powder here. I didn't really do any of that. I got so many questions, like, to see my ID and stuff. And it made me feel so good. And I felt like every time I looked at myself that day, I felt like I looked really good. So I really love these. But this morning, I used the pink one. 
um, a little bit I feel like kind of came off when I showed that right but I really want to repurchase the purple so those are really nice and um, a lot of you guys have tried those and it was kind of a hidden little gem because they're only available at Sephora. This is so cool. I bought this at the beginning of the month and I really wanted to give it a shot before I showed you guys, you know, what I felt. So the applicator is right up my alley because I always say I like to use like eyeliner pencil or eyeliner brushes for like, um, for concealer or something because they're really precise. This is like an eyeliner applicator, like those felt liners, but it's the applicator for your concealer. So basically this is a spot concealer and you're supposed to use it like, you know, if you have some acne, you know, post like acne scarring, like hyperpigmentation or have a little sunspot that I want to get zapped away because it's getting darker and darker, you know, I'll put that on there. Um, I'll put it in like a little dark area that I have there and a little scar that I have there. It is so good. You can get the tiniest like pinpoint. It's thin. You cannot see it. And I use the shade Fair. You guys really have to try this. Um, I had not seen a lot about it. I was actually looking at a different concealer and this was like a little recommended one that I saw. So definitely try that. I am obsessed with candles. My friend Colleen that has the line, the Colleen Rothschild line, I love her um, sheer renewal look. I think this is my thing. Like I go and I try different things and I, you know, I always come back around to different things. But from her line, everything that I've tried is beautiful and amazing. But her cleansing balm is fabulous. I love using it this time of year. Like when it's kind of like cold out and it's kind of a little exfoliating with, you know, with the with the cloth, but it's kind of like, it feels comforting. It makes your skin look so glowy and pretty. That's what I use sometimes to get my makeup off. The Sheer Renewal Cream is wonderful. She has such a beautiful line, and she's doing 30% off today. And her seven-piece discovery kit, which has the cleansing balm in it, does it have the Sheer Renewal Cream? I think it does. It's like $150. It's $49 today for um, Cyber Monday. She has come out with a home fragrance candle and everything today is 30% off too so you can get 30% off even on this so it's h-y-g-g-e and it's pronounced huga and it tells about like where that came from and everything but this is a beautiful box um, I think it was even in another sleeve her packaging is phenomenal like her brand feels so luxe even the boxes that that it's shipped in like when you open it and she's got like the pretty color like the pink color of her like everything is just beautiful and luxe and um, I really like that you know I feel like you're getting something really special so it's this beautiful candle and it's this beautiful lid it says Colleen Rothschild this is you know her brand on it but you can use that to sit it on there I love when I blow out a candle to have a lid to put over it because I don't like the smoke going up I always imagine it's like getting on my ceiling and it's like getting in my life I don't I love having that this feels so luxe and special so like one of a kind and it is the yummiest like it's spicy let me just read about it so I don't like so it says it, it opens with flickers of a spicy floral blend because that's the thing it smells like spice and it smells very homey and delicious but at the same time it has like a floral like it's kind of like uplifting you know it's not too heavy um notes of patchouli and combined <laughs> notes of patchouli combined with warm woods um, golden amber, cashmere musk, uh, so it says the top notes are clove and white floral, which is totally kind of what I was smelling, so like, yeah, it is more clovey than cinnamon, I would say, but definitely you pick up cinnamon. Okay, well then it says the middle is cinnamon, chamomile, patchouli, and wood, and then the base notes are san sandalwood, amber, and cashmere musk, and it's a lot of times like when I read the descriptions of a scent, I've told you guys I'm not good at describing scents, I just kind of say, oh, it's creamy, it's yummy, it smells like fire, it smells like pine, I don't know. I feel like when I read these notes, that is what it smells like to me. And a lot of times when I read notes of perfumes, I'm like, that doesn't smell like that. It's so good. But I've told you guys before, like, what I love about some candles, like, what I really feel like makes a quality candle is when you put your finger, like, if you can, like, you can rub it on yourself, okay? Like, not that you'd want to, like, wear it, but I'm just, I just did. I totally just put it on, like, perfume, but... It smells so good. I remember one time ago my mom had like this really expensive candle that, that did that and I would always like stick my finger in it when I was a kid. I think it was like her private collection. Do you remember like the Estee Lauder scent? That's what my mom always wore, the private collection. She had this big candle and it was really creamy and I would always put my finger in it and like wear it. Um, yeah, so this is so good. And it, um, she was saying it burns really clean and I've burned mine probably total, I would say like maybe two or three hours. 
And um, the wick, I like that the wick didn't get gross and goopy. It's just nice. It's just a very quality candle and she put a lot into it, you can tell. So, if you want a really fabulous looking candle, I put this one in my foyer. It actually, my photo blog at the booth a few weeks ago and I put this one out instead. Um, but it went somewhere else, don't worry. The photo blog is so much loved. But I'm just, I'm just saying, this is so cool and if you want a good gift to give someone, that they probably will not have, and that's really good. This is just, it's amazing. So, um, wow, I really gushed about that candle, but I'm so excited. I was like, when you open something, like when you open a package and you're just like, oh, like I, I was so excited when I got that candle. So anyways, um, love that. And a good sale today as well, and I will put all that info below. Let me preface this by saying, okay, I have found the best eyebrow pencil of life, okay? And it is the Goof Proof Brow Pencil by Benefit. And you guys know, like, I, a lot of Benefit things I don't like. A lot of Benefit things I love. Benefit got me really into makeup a long, long time ago. I mean, I was always kind of into it, but it was the first brand, like, way before my Mac days. Like, when they had, like, a lot of the original stuff and stuff that they still have, you know, but I just, I wanted all of it. You know, like, I, I would look at the catalog and I really just wanted all the things. I, did, I love Benefit, okay? I have a deep love for Benefit. But I'm just honest. I mean, I'm going to tell you if I don't like something or whatever. It doesn't matter what the brand is. The shade 2 in the Goof Proof Brow Pencil, which is the one that is the big one, you know, that has the thing. You know, that has, it's not like a tiny one like the Brow Wiz, which they make that one too, but I have discovered these are just the best. I've seen people, you know, you do those, those beautiful brow tutorials where someone uses a tiny pencil like a Brow Wiz, and then they use a gel, and then they draw the hairs, and then they use a bigger pencil, and then you can honestly just use this and get the same effect. And I've, I've been doing my brows a little different. I don't know if you can tell. I don't like to make mine bigger. I just like to make... I just like to fill them in and make the edges soft. Since the hairs are so dark, I have to blur the edges. You know what I mean? Otherwise, it looks very chunky. But I've actually been drawing underneath them, which maybe is something I always should have been doing. But I never did before because that is so sharp anyways that I never really wanted... Oh, my brows are out of control. I didn't use any brow gel today. Okay, so I always just kind of draw it on the top. And now I kind of do both. And, you know... What it is, is I'm not saying this is a better formula or it's better than anything, which I think it is very good. I think the um, the Makeup Forever one, which is like, I love it. I feel kind of like it's a waste because it has that other little product in it that I don't really use, which is the highlighter. But that one is amazing. The tone is great, but honestly, the tone is even better for me with this one. So it's I think it'll be different for everyone because I think what really makes me love this is the tone. I can draw and go to town and they don't get too dark and scary looking, you know what I mean? And so, this is just so good, and I've never found a pencil like that. Even with my Brow Wiz, when I would get like the color perfect, I would think, I would still have to be careful, because if I went too much with it, my, my brows would be too dark, they would just look too, too much, you know, like too sharp and too dark. But this is so, so good, so try those. Um, okay, I, I don't, I feel bad, but, wait, but I had to preface that because I'm saying, I'm not trying to bash this, but I'm just saying, please, if you guys have this, I just need your opinions. If you guys love it, I want to hear people say they like it because I'm, I'm just curious, even though I don't like it, but, okay, so it's the Big Sexy Eye Kit by Benefit. And I feel like, i said this before, a lot of their products are just a little gimmicky, like it's trying to like reinvent something that doesn't really need to be, like... This is weird to me. So the idea of this, it comes with this little puff. You're, you're supposed to wipe it along these colors, which each one has a dark and a light. You're supposed to wipe it, which, would it be the other way around? I feel like the dark should be in the crease. So maybe they're upside down. I don't know, maybe you need to flip them. So you're supposed to wipe it, and then you take that and you swipe it, and you're supposed to get like this perfect result. And I will just tell you, I didn't really have that experience. It just is weird to me. Like, I just don't see what's hard about swiping and... And I mean, okay, it's fine. Like, when you swipe it, you do get one, you know, like, it's dark and then it's light. But, I'm just not sure about it. So, if you guys like this, see, it says to sweep it, and then they've got the dark side on the bottom, but then they flipped it and put the dark side in the crease, is what I was kind of saying. And then it says... Contour complete 12 hour long wear crease resistant and I think the eyeshadows are probably good I'm sure the eyeshadows are good. I just am not you know what it is I'm not into weird like gimmicky stuff like trying to be you know what I mean? Like I don't think 
sometimes you need to pretend like a brush isn't going to, that's round, isn't going to get into your contours any more than this would. You know what I'm saying? Like, why make something, okay, whatever, I don't know. If you guys like that, let me know. What are your thoughts on that? I would really like to know because am I crazy? When I opened it, I was like, what is this? It was just, it just made me feel weird. I don't know. Um... Okay, this is something else. So the Beauty Blender, I love it, I adore it. You're probably seeing this and thinking, Tiffany, what the heck did you do? Okay, I mean, it's not a big deal, but okay, they've sold this little thing, a little bling ring for years. I keep having to run in there and get stuff. Hold on, let me show you what I do. So you guys know that I am absolutely obsessed with the Beauty Blender and I knew it was time for me to get a new one. And when the VIB sale was going on, I should have bought one. But whatever, I remember I had that kit that had the blotter and it had, it was like the Too Faced kit and it had some other things, but, and it had a beauty blender in it and that was going to kind of be my beauty blender. So I was thinking, okay, I've got a beauty blender in that kit. But then I was looking at it later and thought, no, I don't really want this. And so I got rid of it and I never added in another beauty blender. So anyways, I decided to pick up a new one. And when I did, I thought, you know what? I've always looked at this and I've always told you guys this is unnecessary. So I'm like, Tiffany, why not buy it? I don't know. I just thought, let's try it. This is not my style. This is nothing I would want to like sit out particularly, but the idea is it comes with a beauty blender. Mine's big. Mine's big because I had it dampened. It comes with this so that, you know, after you use your beauty blender, you need to kind of like sit it somewhere. I don't like to sit mine on the counter and I've always told you for years, your beauty blenders come in this and just sit, just use this, you know, just use this container. And then when you travel, you can put it in there if you want to. I don't know. I just think that's simple. I don't think you need this. But when I got it, and again, when I when I opened it, I was like, Tiffany, why did you buy that? But I don't know, I think it's kind of nice because at least I can tell you, this is so cheap. I thought it was gonna be like metal and kind of nice. It is like cheap and weird. Not that I expect it to be super nice, but a beauty blender is like $20, and the beauty blender with this is $29, so it's like $9 for this. This is insane to me. And I'm gonna keep it. It's cute, it's whatever. I just, I wouldn't, ugh, I wouldn't recommend this, and I've told you guys for years, don't even buy anything, use this. Or, this is a napkin ring, okay? I looked in my dining room, and I have so many cutesy little napkin rings. Take a napkin ring and use it if you wanna be cutesy, you know? Don't buy that. But um, this beauty blender is really good. When I looked at this compared to, I should have brought my other one in here, to my other one that's so faded from washing it and so gross, like, I realized how badly I needed a new one. Oh, these are just like velvet. I don't care. If I could find something, it's not about it being a beauty blender. If I could find that at the drugstore for like a dollar and it was brown, I would buy it if it felt like this. You know what I mean? I don't care. Um, but there's, I just have never found anything that can replicate that. And I wish I could because I don't like to pay $20 every single time I need one. Um, but anyways, I will let you guys go. <laughs> I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed sharing my, um, my favorite things with you guys. And, um, again, love you guys so much. I hope that you have a wonderful month of December. I'm so excited that the holidays are here, you guys. I'm, like, gearing up. I'm, like, in full swing, like, decorating and... Uh, today, I'm actually going to put up our other tree in the living room. Girl, I'm still getting the kitchen put back together. It's been a mess. But um, but anyways, guys, I was so excited to share this with you guys today. I will link to everything that I can below. Love you so much, and I will talk to you soon. Bye, guys.